Well, greetings, viewers and voyeurs. Got that funk here. Thanks for joining me. I've been watching what's been going on stateside politically uh, with great dismay um, ever since, well, since before Trump got elected, of course. But I mean, since Trump's inauguration, things have started off bad and gotten what seems to me to be lots and lots worse. And I could make this video uh, go off on all sorts of little tangents about things that are going wrong and uh, my thoughts about such things. But on um, this particular video, I'm going to concentrate on one thing. And that is Trump's connections with Russia during the campaign. Now, I know this topic gets talked an awful lot about on uh, certain media outlets in America. But one thing I don't see getting discussed very often, and maybe I'm just not like watching the right things. Um, but let's just, let's just suppose for a moment uh, that we have some kind of independent investigation which establishes that there was some kind of collusion between Trump or his officials uh, during the campaign and members of the Russian government. Uh, that collusion aiming to uh, influence in whatever way, to whatever degree, the outcome of the U.S. general election. If that was the case, if it could be shown that there was some definitive collusion, surely Trump would have to go. There would have to be an impeachment process. Quite frankly, there could already be an impeachment process because Trump is quite openly using the presidency to enrich himself and his family. All by itself, he should be getting impeached for that. But since Congress doesn't seem to be in the mood for that, I don't think they'd have any choice but to initiate some sort of um, proceedings for impeachment if, uh, if Trump was seen to be colluding with the Russians to subvert the election results, in whatever fashion. Now. One thing that I find interesting, a few weeks ago, George Takai uh, put out a, twit, a tweet on Twitter suggesting that if uh, Trump was found to be guilty of collusion with the Russians, that the result of the election should be declared void and Hillary Clinton should therefore be obviously installed as the new president because um, the election of President Trump and therefore Vice President Mike Pence would be illegitimate. And... I find it interesting that people, anyone, uh, especially as intelligent as George Takai, w would make that kind of a suggestion. Uh, because there's absolutely no precedent for that, neither is there any provision for that in the United States Constitution. And it seems to me that the Constitution should rule whatever happens if Trump is found to be uh, guilty of collusion with the Russians. But even that brings a few things into question, because if Trump's presidency, if his election to the presidency is declared to be illegitimate, as a result of this collusion. Therefore, isn't Mike Pence also illegitimately holding the office of vice president? And so if Trump had to go, wouldn't Pence also have to go? And wouldn't that mean that the presidency would therefore devolve down to the Speaker of the House, in this case, Mr. Paul Ryan? Um, I don't relish the idea of Paul Ryan being president at all, uh, but I'd certainly prefer him to Trump and Pence. But what I can't see happening is, uh, you know, a rerun of the election or, or some sort of uh, provisional government until we can, such time as we can arrange a new election or uh, installing Hillary. None of those three options, which I've heard people talking about on the Internet, seem feasible to me because, again, there's no constitutional mechanism uh, within which those could take place. And we can't just make rules up as we go along. That doesn't make sense to me. Uh, we're supposed to be a nation of laws, the ultimate law being the Constitution. And as far as I can tell, according to the Constitution, the Speaker of the House would have to be elevated to the presidency if it was shown that Trump, and therefore by extension Pence, gained their office illegitimately. But what do you guys think? I'm very curious to find out. Please leave a comment in the comment section down below, and I'll try to make another video on this channel in the very near future. I'm going to try to be more prolific. I absolutely promise. Now that the daylight is getting longer, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Part of my problem is my roommate is a drummer, and he's practicing every fucking day when I get home from work. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching this video. Until next time, may all your ups and downs be ups.